1,000 only. Every episode, I complete a task of 1,000 things decided by the community. Yes, that's right. You have the power to shape the future of my account by voting on various polls released on my channel. So choose wisely, because the obtained loot will be used to prepare for the next video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Good day everyone and welcome to a new episode of 1000 Only. It took nearly 3 years for me to release this video, but hey, I know many of you used to enjoy this series a lot, so I decided to get back into it. First, let me give you a quick overview of my current account status. My current bank value is around 24 mil, which is not too spectacular yet, but more than enough to invest in some decent gear. My total level is 1614 with a combat level of 101 and we completed 105 quests and 299 diary tasks. This is the result of completing the following tasks shown on screen right now, voted by you in the past. You can watch back all these episodes by rewatching the series from the start or simply skip that part and begin here. Oh, and in my inventory you can see a collection of bark and vials of water. I used to collect these back in the day, so if you've got any to donate, I would happily accept it to make the stacks grow again. Today the goal is to continue this journey with 1000 demonic gorilla kills, the winner of the latest poll. Of course this was already decided years ago, but after this video I will release a fresh new poll so you can vote on the next episode again. Last week I already put up a test poll on the channel to see if any of you would respond and we got about 2.5 thousand votes which is not bad, but I am sure that you guys can do much better than that. So if you want to vote too then make sure to take your time now to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and turn on your notifications to make sure you won't miss the poll when it releases. Okay then, so let's now get into the episode. In order to kill demonic gorillas, I will need to complete Monkey Madness 2. I have all the requirements except for 60 hunters, so let's get ready and do the quest. Well, here we go. We get ourselves level 60 hunter. That means we can now do Monkey Madness 2. That is very exciting. Let's go for it. We are now at the part where I have to fight Kruk. I had to go through this cave two times because one time I forgot to pray ranged. I prayed melee instead and I died, so that really sucked, but here we are. And that's the final hit. I've been searching all these rooftops for like half an hour, I wasn't able to find this guy, and he turns out to be right here on the bridge, like wow. We're killing the tortured gorillas, kind of. Just killed my first demonic gorilla during the quest and we got a task for that already. This is the end for Neve. Oh no, our beloved Neve. Let's take the shield though. <laughs> we need one more hit. That should do the job, I think. Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's go. Monkey Madness 2 completed. 80,000 Slayer, 60k Agility, 50k Thieving, and 50k Hunter. That is sick. And of course, we got the Royal Seed Pot as well. 72 Slayer. We can kill Wyverns now too. Now that the quest is done, I want to invest some gear to prepare for the 1000 kills. The money gorillas are quite challenging creatures, so killing 1000 of them is not going to be a breeze. First I had to sell my Gotham gear and occult necklace because otherwise I didn't have enough money to invest into the items that I wanted. I decided to buy a brimstone ring since the all round stats come in really handy at the demonic money gorillas. Almost all the fighting styles are used in both attacking and defending against them. And then I also bought some prayer potions, monkfish, element darts to load the blowpipe, house teleports and ranging potions. This leaves me with almost no money but that's okay, we just need to start killing to solve that problem. So now that we got all we need, it is time to kill 1000 demonic gorillas. Are you ready? Let's begin. Kill number 25 and we get uncut diamonds, no regular diamonds, a dragon med helm, oh man, that is extremely rare. 1 in 12,800. Good game, Zenites. <laughs> hey, that's cool. My first dragon skimmy drop. Teak seeds. That is quite rare, but not a good drop. Alright, there's the first clue scroll. Snapdragon seed, okay. Kill number 100. Here is kill number 125. And we get death runes once again. 
Oh, there it is. The first Zenite shard, my friends. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, I love it. Yes, that's what we needed. Beautiful. That is just perfect. That means for sure that we're going to make a lot of money. Oh my god, there's the second unique, Ballista Limbs, just a couple kills later. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I got the Zenite before this, otherwise I would have been quite mad. Kill number 150, Maple Seeds. Hey, level 79 defense. Okay, so for the past hour I tracked down how many demonic gorilla kills I could do and I got 30 kills. So if I can average 30 an hour, then the 1000 kills in total are going to take about 33 hours. Now I'm close to 200 KC already, so for me it's about 27 hours left. So that's still quite a bit, but we can do it. It took a while, but we got another clue scroll finally. Torstal Seeds. Alright, I'm afraid it's time for a questing spree. I have to do Land of the Goblins for this fairy ring. And uh, for that, I have to do a lot of other quests. But we have to do it because I'm going to get this clue step more often in the future. And I want to complete as many clues as I can. There is the first quest done, the Lost Tribe. And there is Death to the Durkishan, quest number two. Giant Dwarf completed. Oh man, I really hated this. I think we finally did all the pre-quests and now we can do Land of the Goblins. And there is the final quest. We can now do the clue step. 59 Herbalore as well, not too bad. Kill number 275, there's two palm tree seeds. Alright, here is kill number 335. We have passed the one third mark already at uh, 333, so it's still gonna take a while. I'm hoping for two more Zenites, but uh, we'll see. At least we got one, I'm grateful for that. Okay, so I did 365 kills now, but my Toxic Blowpipe is starting to run out of charges and I really don't have too much money anymore to keep buying Zora Scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell every single item in my bank that I don't need right now. I mean, that's the nice thing about 1000 only. I reinvest every episode. So items like the Trident or the Forseer Help or whatever potion I don't need, I will sell it all. And invest once more in some more scales and other things that I need. And by the end of the episode, we have more than enough money to buy back the items that we need. Okay, I really thought I had more, but uh, I sold almost everything and I only got one mil. So <laughs> I can't really buy all the silver scales. It won't be enough for 1,000 kills. So I'm going to move on to a rune crossbow from now on, I think. And then just use diamond bolts for that. So yeah, let's buy some diamond bolts. Hey, it's been a while. A dragon scimitar. Great drop. Hey, 86 hit points. Awesome. Alright, that's a bit different. An elite clue scroll. Hmm, not sure if I can complete this one, but we'll try. So, I had no idea that in order to access Necropolis, you have to start the quest beneath Cursed Sands. Ah, so we're gonna have to do that. Uh, also, the quest Contact and Prince Alley Rescue. It's not gonna be fun, but I wanna do it because I just wanna complete as many clues as possible. There is Prince Alley Rescue. And the second quest completed, Contact. And finally, Beneath Cursed Sands, also done. Yeah, Sins of the Father. It's going to be a long day. Well, there is Vampire Slayer. So this is really pissing me off. I basically have all the requirements for the quest, Sins of the Father, except for 62 woodcutting, because you need that to chop the wood. But I can use the Dragon Axe special attack to meet the requirements. But still, it won't let me start the quest because of that. And that really sucks, because now I just gotta train two woodcutting levels just for the quest, which I really don't want to do, but I guess I have no choice. At last, level 62. It took a while, but Sins of the Father is now also completed, and that means we can now do the clue, and in the future we can also kill Firewatch Sentinels, so that should be nice for a future episode. Also, I'm gonna put all the XP lamps on Slayer because I'm limited to doing only 1000 Slayer creatures every 5 episodes. So that means that the higher my Slayer level is, the better creatures I can, I can kill for future episodes as well. Thank you very much, level 73 Slayer. Alright, it was all worth it in the end, we got an Elite Casket. Aye, that is rare drop table. Hey, level 87 ranged, awesome. And there is another elite clue, Casquetto. We have just reached 500 KC, we are halfway with one Zenite right now. Hopefully we can get at least one more, 
but I'm really hoping for two, to be honest. Oh, yikes. 100 silver ore. Hmm. Well, there is another unique again, but once again the Ballista limbs. I am not so happy with this. I just killed a little over 600 demonic gorillas and so far we are still at one Zenite. Uh, it's still not bad, I'm happy that I have one at least, but I'm really hoping that in the next 400 kills we get at least one more, but I deserve two, but <laughs> we'll see. Two spirit seeds even, oh no. What? Back-to-back -back spirit seeds? I don't even want to know what the chance of that is. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, there's a light frame as well. I'm getting all the uniques, but uh, only one Genite so far. Yo, level 80 defense. Looking great. Two more spirit seeds, alright. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you so much for this. The second Zenite, that makes me incredibly happy. Oh, ha, ha, yeah, that's gonna increase the loot by so much. Awesome. All right, there, there's a viewer who has recognized me. And he is zero Zenites on 930 KC. Well, that is just awful. I feel so sorry for you, mate. I hope you'll get one soon. Level 80 strength, level 100, and two combat. 81 attack, only one more level, and then we can equip a Fang. Oh, yes! A third Zenite! <laughs> no way! Yes! Oh, I'm suddenly so lucky! Thank you! Yes, I am on drop right now! Oh, man! <laughs> yes! Jeez, I think I cannot complain anymore, guys. This is amazing. We are on drop right. We got three Zenites that is like... Great, I really don't expect to get any more. We got about 200 kills left, so who knows what's gonna happen. But this is already such a big win. We are gonna make about 50 to 60 million cash in this episode, if not more. That is gonna be great. Oh man, let's just continue with the kills. There is another unique, a light frame once again. Well, there is another Spirit Seed drop. I think we got six in total now. What? Oh, a heavy frame. Oh, shit. That's cool. It's another unique. A 1 in 1.5k drop. 160k value. Not too bad. That's pretty cool. We are now only missing two drops. The Monkey Tail and the Ballista Spring. So it would be cool to make the full Ballista, but not sure. A Monkey Tail? There is another unique. Almost at the end of the episode. Wow. 9.55 KC, we get the monkey tail. Kill number 970, and we get another light frame. Oh, yes! It happened! We got a fourth! A fourth Zenite! Oh, man! Kill count 982. Oh, man, I couldn't have hoped for anything better than this, man. Four Zenites. Holy moly. I'm a rich man after this. Level 88 ranged... Looking good. So right now we are on 998 KC, but in reality we actually have 996. The reason for this is that during the quest I had to kill two demonic gorillas and they actually counted towards the rune light calculator and I forgot to delete those. So that's why we're going to go for 1002 kills on the counter that you can see below on the screen. So we actually have 1000 demonic gorillas with actual loot then. We are about to do the very last kill. Kill number 1000. There it is. Exactly 1000 demonic gorillas defeated. That is simply beautiful. I really can't wait to sell the loot and see what we can get in the end. Let's go. Alright then, so this is it. The final result of killing 1000 demonic gorillas. That loot is just absolutely mind-blowing. 65 million. I can't even remember what the best episode was so far, but I think we haven't made more than 10 mil in one single episode, and now for this one, we make 65 mil. Now, of course, I gotta say, we are incredibly lucky on the Zenite charts. We got four. I mean, some people get zero after a thousand kills. I've had that before on different accounts. So having four is absolutely mental. I'm so happy with that. 
Um, I literally picked up every single drop. I mean, even the ashes I have not uh, left on the floor. So this is exactly what we got. We got 413k. The rest of my money is here in my inventory. Um, all the prayer potions, it's all in the loot tab. So the only question is, will I actually get 65 mil for selling all the loot? We'll see. So I guess let's get into it. We have sold all the loot and came to a total of 64 mil, 371 K and 945 coins. I wasn't able to sell the Javelin Shaft, they are 1 GP and even then they won't sell. So I guess I'm just gonna have to drop these or whatever. And the Spirit Seeds are untradeable, so that's a logical thing. I guess I could turn them in for uh, seed packs and sell those. But I think I want to hold on to these because in the future I may want to plant some Spirit Trees and then I can use these perfectly for that. So the expected value was 65 mil and we got 64.3-ish, which is still great. But we are not done yet, because as you may remember, I have been completing some clue scrolls during these kills too. So let's grab the caskets and see how much more money we can make. Even if all these caskets only consist of one air rune each, I am extremely happy already with the money that we have made. So whatever it is, uh, I'm not going to be disappointed. But let's see, can we land any uniques? Here we go, first clue scroll. We get a Zemi page, that's a 150k clue. Second one is a 50k one, 115, and a new item, 80k, 90k, 141k. 124k, 56,000, oh, that is sick, 1.4 mil, a Robin Hood hat, oh shit, that's sick, alright, let's keep going, 81k, <laughs> and 200k, that is insane, let me bang some of this stuff first. So now it's time for the last two elite gaskets, I actually had to go to Watson to enable mimic fights, I had not done that yet, so let's see, what can we get from this one? Oh, it actually is a Mimic. No way. All right, let's go. And now we can open it. And we get absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I mean, it's still worth 268k, though, so that's, that's cool. And now it's time for the final Elite Gaskets. What will it be? That is a 153k loot. All right, let's grab all the loot together. This is all the loot we got in total. It is worth 3 mil. That is actually a very nice bonus to this total loot, so let's sell it all. And there it is. 3 mil and 2k. Beautiful. In this episode, we trained one attack, strength, and hit points level, two defense and range levels, one herb lore and mining, two slayer and woodcutting, three thieving, and five hunter levels. But now it's time for the part where I need you to decide what I should do in the next episode. If you remember the series from back in the day, I would put a link in the description where you can vote. But this time it's going to be a little bit different, so listen closely. Please share your suggestions in the comments of which 1000 only task I should do next. This could be a thousand kills of a certain creature, 1000 minutes of an activity or something else that is 1000 related. But please keep my current stats and progression of the account in mind so it won't be too easy or difficult. And if you feel like it, feel free to give me your thoughts on what I should invest my money in too. We've got 70 mil to spend my friends, that is some juicy stuff if you ask me. A few days after the release of this video, I will pick three of your suggestions and put up a poll. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications now if you haven't done so already to make sure you can cast your vote when the poll releases. And that is all for today, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so more people can get to see this. Thanks a lot and until next time, bye bye. <laughs>